the action's still good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Back at you. <laughs> Earlier, a guy brought in a Winchester rifle. It's a rare gun, so before I make an offer, I need to have Craig, our expert, look at it. Hey, what's up? Hey, Richard. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Uh, surprising to see you up on Skype. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm learning or trying to anyhow. This guy brought in this Winchester. It's a 4590. My concerns are is the value, naturally. And I want to make sure it's all original. Um. Does the gun function? Yeah, the gun's in working order, Craig. Can you read me the serial number? 67690. 1892. Do me a favor. Hold the gun up closely. I want to sort of see the front of the barrel. <laughs> Wait a minute. Back at you. <laughs> <laughs> the finish on this gun isn't that great. Um, it looks like it's been fairly heavily cleaned. Barrel's been shortened. I'm going to guess the gun's probably worth between $3,000 and $4,500 on the retail market. OK, well, thanks, Craig. My expert appraised it $3,000 to $4,500. I'll take $4,500. No, you won't. I would be a buyer in the neighborhood of $2,500. How about $4,000? Can you do $4,000? I'll push it to three grand. But the only reason why I'm doing that is the caliber. Is there any way you can do $3,500? I'll take $3,500. I shouldn't. But I'll give you 3500 for it. OK, that's a deal. Thank you. This is a model 1894 Marlin. This is an amazing looking gun. Marlin, the guy who owned this company, originally worked for Colt, right? Correct. I know they became really huge in military contracts during World War I. That's some pretty amazing engraving on this thing. Yeah. You've got platinum and gold on the trigger. Up on the barrel, you also have some gold inlays and uh, platinum inlays there. Special wood, special sights, case-hardened frame, shotgun butt. I mean, this gun is top-notch. To say I'm interested would be an understatement. It's a great rifle. The action's still good. How much were you looking to get out of it? I'm looking for 41000 You do have some little condition issues, which would well, be a big thing on a gun like this. You, know, you take a gun like this, you start dinging it up and scratching it. It's not dollars that it's going away. It's thousands of dollars that are going away. I'm thinking like 20,000. It's a big drop from 41. 21,000. I take the gun. I take all the risks. 28,500. 21,000. That's the best I will go on it. 25,000. $21,000. I'm sticking to my guns. <laughs> I think I'll do it. OK, we got a deal, man. I'll meet you right up front. Huh? We'll write this up, just a bit work. A woman came in with a really cool Japanese matchlock rifle. So I called in my buddy Sean to help me figure this thing out. Hey, Rick, how are you? How's it going? Hi. I'm Sean. Myra, nice to meet you. Holy crap. This is impressive. Yeah. You know, you don't see something like this every day. When do you think this was made, 1700s, 1800s? Just the form of it. I'm going to say between 1750 and about 1800. This is a wall gun that would be on a defensive line. Those guys weren't going anywhere. And I want to see what the, you know, you would think it would even have a, a bigger caliber considering how big this thing is. Yeah. But, you know, you could actually utilize this for a longer range. What's it worth? Easily three to 6,000. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. I'm thinking I'll give you like two grand for it. Yeah, he said you can get 6,000 for it. The 6,000 is sort of la la land. I might put it in an auction and I'll get three grand, and by the time I pay the auction fees and everything else, I make nothing. Can you do at least 35? I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll give you $2,200. It it's, and that's going to be my, my final price. It really is. OK. Deal, 2,200 bucks. I'll meet you right over there. We'll do some paperwork, and I'll get a strong young employee to pick this up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you.